Yo, what's up my golden boys and girls, Chandler here, and today, yeah, uh, I am currently on vacation, as this video is being filmed, I am at home, not on vacation, isn't that funny, uh, no it's not, it's very stupid, um, yeah, uh, Roar Bahamuts, yeah, uh, I'm gonna go over this Beyblade part by part, uh, talking about each of the gimmicks and, uh, my opinion on it. Now, I actually think I don't happen to have Dread Bahamut on me. I am going to just check shortly. But I wouldn't count on it because everything is just mixed and out of whack right now. Uh, or Bahamut. Or uh, Bahamut. No, but I have Ark Bahama. Basically, it's I was just going to show off, oh, yada, yada, yada. It's had the same uh, gimmick of getting rounder and rounder the more it takes damage. Nothing too special. So, Roar Bahamut Giga uh, Moment 10. Defense type. Its basic gimmick is that when it gets hit, it goes into it goes from like this to being a perfect circle pretty cool we'll take her part and we'll go over her part by part so in this Beyblade you of course get five parts uh, let's start off with the Bahamut core so Bahamut has slopes instead of teeth now there's prob there's probably still ways Hasbro can screw this up but yeah just ha it has slopes. Oh. And it also has a rubber piece here. Very grippy rubber. And as well as some really grippy rubber stoppers. Similar to that of the Genweight on, you guessed it, Dread Bahamut. And similar to that on Lucifer the End. So, pretty cool. That's Bahamut. Next up, we have Roar. So, Roar is a left spinning. Uh, also, this chip is left spin. Roar is a left spinning ring, so basically you can only use it on left spin cores. Uh, and the whole gimmick is as it gets closer to bursting, it hits here, and then it becomes a perfect circle. Also, these pieces here are actually uh, two different pieces. They kind of flex, which is kind of cool, or maybe they're hooked up by some sort of screw or piece, but I'm not entirely sure of that. So that there is Roar. Next up, we of course have the 10 armor. Now, this is actually, there's a little detail here I want to explain. Is that little point right up there? It looks very similar to that of the Solomon chip. Eerily similar, but I could totally be wrong. It could be, ba it could just be like that, but I don't think that that there is a coincidence. Let me know what you guys think about that in the comment section below. Uh, yeah. Cool has 10 points. I don't know how if it's the heaviest weight. I still think that two is probably the heaviest. But it feels like just a... a I don't know how to describe it. These armors are not going to do much. Next up, we have Giga, the heaviest disc in the game. Came on Cyclone, and it's pretty damn competitive from what we know. And then we have a Moment, which is just guard but with extra steps. Basically, the center ball, I do believe, is free spin. Yeah, it's free spin, and then the ring is free spin. Pretty cool. I do like the... And it also kind of wiggles like Volcanic. So let's assemble it, and we'll do some test battles. And yes, I am using a white stadium for this video, because the, bay, the black Beyblade will stand out a lot better on the white stadium. So, yeah, let's get started. Uh... So, let's do a test launch in low mode and then high mode. So, here we go. Three, two, one, go. <laughs> really aggressive. Ooh. All right. Now, let's change it into high mode. It's so weird. You hear no clicks. There it is in high mode. Give you guys a nice close up on high mode for you. There you go. 
So let's give it a test launch. Ooh, a little wobbly. Seems fine though. All right. So let's put it back in low mode. I will, uh, if it loses a round, I'll switch it into high mode, but if it wins a round, it's going to stay in low mode, so, and we'll just move on. So I have a couple of sparking bays and a couple of uh, DB bays. So we'll see how well this baby do in battle. So just making sure I have everything set up. All right, so its first opponent is going to be Super Hyperion. And I failed my launch on the first thing. All right, let's redo that. Yeah, just kind of going around, really. Bahamut spin finish. Next stop, King Helios. Probably launch that in a second. If I am being honest. Alright, let's launch. Ooh, KO. Alright, next up we have Hyperion Burn. Just getting the new season characters out of the way. Last season character. And I failed the launch. No, I'm gonna launch in anyway because this base up. And the launch fails again. Oh, was it gonna I think it might actually have been Bahamut. That would be pretty dang funny. If it did. That was a draw. I'll do it again. I think it was a sparking launcher for this time for Bahamut. Next up, Helios Volcano. Where did I put it? Uh, this is, uh... Darn, I'm just kind of tired today, guys. Sorry if my commentary isn't par to when I'm awake, and I would expect to see that a little more with the other videos. There it is. All right, let's go. So... I will launch in Bahamut first. Helios Volcano is going around. Not a really good same spin Beyblade, so I think Bahamut's got this in the bag.
you can see that driver activating. All right, so now we have to do the Lucifers. So we'll do Lucifer, variant Lucifer. So let's go, men. I failed the launch on Lucifer. I'm gonna redo it. Three, two, one, go. Shoot. Nope, not working. Come on, I hate, I hate having like these sparkling. And I self KO. Yeah, aren't am I? Aren't I a good player? Am I? I don't know. I don't. I don't know how to use proper grammar, guys. Three, two, one, go. Shoot. The wall known as Lucifer. This is gonna be probably the first round we're gonna see high mode. What if it outspins Mobius? That'd be pretty poggers. Oh my god, it did. <laughs> what? <laughs> Are you kidding me? <laughs> Moment top tier. Change my mind. Alright, we got loose for the end now. The Beyblade I do not like to use because it is super uncontrollable. Alright, so let's get you loaded on there, Bahamut. Three, two, one, go. Shoot. <laughs> Break yes. That rap scat rap scallion act or rap scallion? I don't know the proper pronunciation of that term, but Lucifer's got that stupid limit break active. Oh <laughs> yeah, alright. I gotta switch it to high mode guys. Isn't that crazy? Yeah, high mode's pretty whack, I have to admit. Well, now we get to actually see it battle in high mode, which I I don't know. If some if you guys do like high mode, like, let me know in the comments section because high mode's freaking wild. Also, yes, about that popularity poll, don't worry. The, the longest video is coming out. Uh, this one just takes priority. Driver, help it recover. Now Lucifer's being a defense type for once. Yeah, there was no way it was out spinning drift. Alright. Lucifer at the end is the first winner. I gotta disassemble this big thing. This Beyblade's really weird for a Bahamut, but it's kind of what I was expecting, like really weak teeth, but with like a very weird burst resistance kind of gimmick, you know? I also keep forgetting it's not the GT system because I keep going from the bottom and pushing up when it's in low mode and I realize, oh wait, it's not GT, so. Yeah, I can't do that in high mode. All right, next stop, we are moving on to the more major characters. Let's do Achilles first. Iga, because he's sadly not going to appear in DB. I think he's not. I would love it if he did. Achilles is actually pummeling Bahamut. 
Wow. The Bahamas gonna win and it's been finished. Yeah, how close did it get? Not at all. <laughs> yeah, good luck bursting this Beyblade, honestly. If you guys have ever seen this Bay burst, uh I'm I would I wouldn't believe you. I I, I think this Beyblade Oh wait, Achilles already lost, so uh Let's do Death Solomon. Basara's old bay versus his new bay. I say. I like the premise of Death Solomon. I like that it actually got a release, but like. It was really only because I needed one more release, and they're like, what do we release for this? And like, give them like a, a decently rare part with a Solomon chip. And they're like, let's give it Death Solomon. Yeah, alright. Bahamut. Next up, we will do... World Spriggan. Spriggan takes it. And almost bursts in the process, so... And I am using left. Because I feel like I don't want I don't want everything to be an equalizing match because this is a less spin. So now we have to do it in high mode. Watch us actually win in high mode. High mode Bahamut. I'm gonna angle launch. I'm gonna Nope. World Spriggan gets it. My poor finger hurts now. All right, we're going up against Brave Valkyrie next. I was expecting a uh, like Vault to not evolve into Saber Valkyrie so early in the season, honestly. But he did, and I really would like to see, like, Bizarra just actually wall out Brave Valkyrie, so, yeah. I don't know, that's just something I kind of wanted to see, because Brave Valkyrie has a pretty good win-to-loss ratio in terms of like, sparking. So, we'll see what it does to Bahamut. I'm not going to count that. Alright, let's go. Three, two, one, go. Nope. Just completely walled it out. Alright, Rage Longinus. The big match. I will do this three times because it could be over in two seconds. It's a really exciting match. Whoa. KO. I'm not gonna switch it to high mode yet. If it loses another time, I'll switch it to high mode. Rage long and a still through the dominant force. Ooh. Stamina? Stamina battle? Oh, it hit the ridge! Go Bahamu! Atta boy. No click. None of these matches is actually about Muhammad. It's actually impressive. That was a draw, I will do another one. Nope. 
Here, let's do Rage in first. Spicy! Oh. Oh. Okay, we slid a little, we slid a little. We're in the, we're in the perfect circle. Let's go. All right, Rage along this. You did good, Del. Uh, all right, so Dynamite Belial. Stock, no gear. Come on, Basara. You can do it. Oh. Oh, that's like a wall. I want to say that was a draw, so I'll do one more. Bahamut is a very tanky Beyblade. Exactly what I wanted to do. Pretty, it just got really good defense, honestly. I, I know I'm like very quiet in most of the matches, but like, because I'm more observing, because I got this, I opened this thing today. All right, I didn't do any testing. This is kind of my, my initial testing for it. And it is a tank. It is a wall. Now, Belial definitely has a lot of light stamina slash LAD, so it doesn't really struggle too bad against Bahamut. That was another draw. I'm gonna call it there. Uh, all right, let's do Belial with F gear. Also, yes, I am using this one. This is going to be very hard to distinguish with the pink. It's gonna... Oh, boy. I'm sure the bright highlights on Bahamut will. And I failed my lot. Well, let's see if Belial can spin steal here. Nope. Belial is just really bad. Okay, good. You can tell the difference. Use it's telling Bahamut you're gonna use that driver. <laughs> Bahamut has to use that driver to get prevent those KOs. Or getting destabilized in the stadium. Now come to think of it, there's a lot of drivers that are designed to prevent destabilization. And... Bahamut, all right. Last two, we'll do Cyclone Ragnarok because this is very boring and then we'll do the latest, the last sparking release, so. Yeah. Three, two, one, go. It's gonna be a 30 minute long review. It'll take a lot to upload. Yeah, it's gonna be long. Uh, but I am gonna definitely say this about DB. If it wasn't just a lot of stamina-orientated Beyblades for the first wave, I would have loved this season a lot more. Because <laughs> Belial's got a lot of stamina in it. Ragnarok's the stamina type. Bahamut's the defense type. And Fafnir's the stamina type. Like, come on. Ragnarok wins. Alright, we get to do high mode.
Alright, let's go. Uh, yeah. So... Uh, I remember when the triple booster set for the Godlight system came out. And I was not the biggest fan of the Hummer. To be expected, Ragnarok wins. All right, last match. Let's go, Fafnir. Uh, I think in the first off for this match, uh, I'm expecting Bahamut to win because you know Fafnir same spin isn't really that good. Unless it was like Drain. Drain was pretty good in same spin for some reason. So, yeah. Let's get this party started, yo. Yeah, there we go. All right. Three, two, one, go. So, two, dry, two left spin bays that both like to stay in the middle, that both have drivers that make them want to stabilize, and they're both dragons. Really. Whoa! Fafnir eating that stamina. Okay, maybe my expectations should be a bit reversed, because that's really good. takes it all right just wanted to be safe uh and i didn't even switch to high mode who cares uh so thank you guys so much for watching i'm actually gonna do one more battle just for you know laughs uh, there you go yeah uh no 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 it's gonna be fair arc bahamut at least deserves a fair there we go Oh god, it's probably it's probably like half its weight, which is the worst part. <laughs> I'm expecting it to I, it might actually it's on atomic, so it might win. God, if this thing wins, I will be this vi I will end this video. Oh my god, the worst part was it was actually close. How close was it to bursting? Like two clicks, one one two clicks. I don't know. Uh, and this, of course, yeah, <laughs> no clicks. This thing never will. Only clicks rarely. So thank you guys so much for watching, and uh, I really like this Beyblade. <laughs> uh, this new Bahamut, phenomenal release by TT. Uh, the design on it's really good. Very different from what we originally got for the older Bahamuts. I like the turquoise being a lot more prominent on it. Uh, Giga, g getting another Giga is always good. And this new driver, I think, might have potential, but I feel like it's pretty bad. Uh, the core is unbelievable, and the ring, or the blade, is really good. Uh, I, would pr I could see it being pretty good for, like, defense and, s e like, sub-equalizers or something. I don't know. But... Yeah, hope you all have an awesome day. Stay safe, stay awesome, and Beyblade.